If you are ever looking for a crowd-pleasing appetizer that absolutely everyone will love, then you need to make my fresh and healthy seven layer dip. What's special about it is that it's made with refried beans, a homemade easy guacamole, and a taco layer with Greek yogurt instead of sour cream. It's so delicious. We've got tomatoes, cheese, black olives, cilantro, and some jalapenos, because you guys know how I like it and how this baby likes it too. So let's get started and do it up. So I'm gonna chop this onion. Now we've got some jalapeno. I'm gonna cut it into thin slices. We're also gonna dice one jalapeno to throw into the homemade guacamole. So one is sliced and one is diced. The next thing we wanna do is get started by putting the refried beans into a pan. You can use something like a nine by 13 if you wanna double it to serve a crowd or a nine by nine inch pan is wonderful. Spread the refried beans all over the bottom of the pan. The next thing we're gonna do is make our yogurt taco layer. So we're gonna take two cups of plain Greek yogurt. And then what we're gonna do is add an entire one ounce packet of taco seasoning. This is what gives the taco layer that nice flavor and spice. Give it a stir. Put all of this on top of the refried beans. And one of the reasons I love using Greek yogurt instead of sour cream is just because it adds a nice boost of protein, something I feel good about serving my guests. It's time to make our guacamole layer, AKA the best layer. So we're gonna take two avocados, add this to a bowl, and then we'll mash it up. We're gonna add in some cilantro. We've got our diced jalapeno some lime juice to make sure that the guacamole doesn't brown. And then we're gonna do some salt and pepper. And now we're gonna spread this all over the top of the taco yogurt. It gets a little bit messy and some of this stuff starts to come together when you layer it on, but just do the best you can. Finally, we've got some grape tomatoes. I like using grape tomatoes because they keep their texture and their shape. You can also dice these if you prefer, but I love getting a big, nice, chunky tomato and I'm dipping chips. Gorgeous. We've got some cheese. Feel free to use any kind of cheese you want. Black olives. If you don't love black olives, you can absolutely keep them off. Some red onion. Just gives it a nice punch of color. Some extra cilantro for fresh flavor. And then finally, we've got our jalapeno slices. Here we go. Oh, I gotta get a jalapeno in there. Oh my God, it's so good. You guys are gonna love this seven layer dip. It's always a crowd pleaser when I bring it to parties. So hope you guys will love this recipe. You can find it at ambitiouskitchen.com and don't forget to leave a comment on the blog to let me know how you liked it or use the hashtag ambitiouskitchen on Instagram.